In other stories, approximately 1 million doses of Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer COVID-19 vaccines will expire by the end of September if not administered. And as the government strives to achieve the target of vaccinating 26 million COVID-19 National Task Force Chair Dr. Willy Sakwale says the country has witnessed a low uptake of the vaccines since last month. Zainab Said reports. According to the Ministry of Health, COVID-19 vaccine uptake continues to decrease gradually from 100,000 people daily initially to about 15,000 people every 24 hours. The National Tax Force on COVID-19 Chair, Dr. Willis Ahwale, attributes the trend to low positivity rates, which currently stands at 1.5%. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last one week, we've seen an, an improvement in terms of uh, daily vaccination rates. Like yesterday, about 15,000 people got vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is uh, much lower than our target. With the government working towards vaccinating a target population of 27 million Kenyans and the rate of infection is low, Kenyans are being urged to ensure they are fully vaccinated. Uh, in country, we do have uh, uh, over 5 million doses that are not utilized. Mm -hmm. I think later, either this evening or tomorrow, we should be getting Moderna coming in about 200,000 doses. Mm -hmm. And for now, what we have, the, the doses are there is just to manage the supply chain. At the end of September, 1 million doses of Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson will expire. And to forestall the anticipated wastage, the Ministry of Health intends to conduct a mass vaccination campaign. I cannot say for sure if the campaign is as successful as the one of July where one million people are vaccinated, then we could just do that. Uh, in terms of planning, we want to minimize, but we cannot rule out uh, no, no expiries at all. I'm here to get my first shot today. I decided to come because um, I kept pushing it forward. I actually see the importance of having the job for my own personal protection, protection for my family, and like elderly people that I interact with and all that. Yeah. Today I've actually come because um, like the opportunity has been brought to me actually. It's not that I've had the opportunity to go for the job. Yeah, so being in the street, and everything, it's created the opportunity for me to have the job today. As of Thursday, August 30th, 2022, a total of 21,124,488 vaccines had been administered across the country. Nairobi County leading with the highest number of fully vaccinated adults at 1,600,406, followed by Kiambu County at 594,948. Teneriva has the least number of administered vaccines at 16,614, followed by Isiolo at 17,552. In the last one day, 13 people tested positive for COVID-19 from a sample size of 848. No fatalities were recorded during the period and the death toll stands at 5,674. For Lunchtime News, I'm Zainab Said.